Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, Southland Video here, bringing you the DJI Mini 4 Pro Obstacle Avoidance Testing. I was recently asked to do a video on the obstacle avoidance, and I thought to myself, okay, I can do that. But how can I do it other than flying the drone into a tree? Which I've done a few times, and it costed me a little bit of money. So I come up with an obstacle course, which you'll see here later on in the video, which I think turned out pretty good. But first, here she is in all her glory, good old faithful Mini 4 Pro. Now, I have repaired this drone myself three to four times, and I've sent it off twice, and it still does great. And all those times was me flying it into different things. Now, I still use the gimbal protector. I advise everybody to. It's the most it's sensitive part of the drone. Uh, I use the strap. Um, I feel think that they've made it for a reason so you should use it and also keeps the drone nice and tight and compact and it keeps your props from flailing around i tried to pack it without the strap once and broke a prop so i highly recommend using it there she is folded out ready to go now i still use the original remote um, i do have a mini 3 with the screened remote that i do like i enjoy but for the Mini 4 Pro, I have got used to the setup with the phone. And I actually, I've got to the point now where I prefer it because, you know, I feel more comfortable with my phone. Uh, I have all my apps at my disposal on my phone. And I just, well, I have a Fold 4 phone, which that makes a huge difference because it has a huge screen on it. And the way I've got it set up is I can actually snap the Fold 4 right in to the remote thanks to the case that the Fold 4 has. It's not, no special case. It just happens to have an S-Pen holder on the back, which allows it to snap right in and work perfect. Now, yeah, I know you can see the crease on the Fold 4, but let me tell you, you when you're holding it in your hand, you don't even notice it. But for some reason on... on uh, video it pops up really good <laughs> but like i said i like this setup better and it's it's just my personal preference but i like the the phone setup and and the phone doesn't make it wobbly or anything but let's get on with some obstacle avoidance okay yes that is an avengers launch pad i needed <laughs> i needed a launch pad so i ran to my garage grabbed a picture the grass was a little high for the drone i'm a creature of opportunity i used it now here what I'm showing you is when the drone is in hover mode, when you're just letting it hover, not all the sensors are, are uh, working or picking up at this point. Really the only one working at this point is your, is your bottom sensor, which is preventing you from landing on something or something hitting the bottom of the drone. You can see I take the stick all around the drone, and when I get to the bottom, it reacts. See, it flies up. Now here's... Uh, a branch that I set up with some leaves you can see the drone clearly avoiding it now keep in mind I am flying the drone directly at these obstacles I'm not trying to avoid them I am lining the drone up and then I'm just pushing the stick forward or to the side whatever I need to do and the drone is taking the path to avoid it and it's doing a great job I mean you, you can't help but be impressed by this little little drone and what it can do it's obviously thinking for itself and trying to plot a course around this obstacle. Now here the issue it ran into is I was trying to fly into the middle of the stick. So to avoid it, it went up. Well, it thought it had went up far enough to avoid the stick, but in reality it hadn't. In between the two front sensors, there is a blind spot. and It's right where the gimbal is. And a small enough obstacle, like this skinny stick, the drone is not picking it up. You can see it's flying right into it. And that's one of a couple of blind spots that the drone has. Um, but still, it's impressive what it can do. I mean, it's going to have blind spots, but it is really impressive. You can see I'll, I'll take it slowly here. Right into it. Yeah. Now, this one's a, a little more covered than the other one. has more foliage. And the uh, the drone obviously wanted no part of it. It 
it avoided this one uh, really good. And of course, the foliage is going to make the branch more visible to the sensors. That's why it does better on you know greener branches. Look at that, straight flat out avoids it. Now this is the side avoidances. Now watch how I, I go to push it into it from the side, and the side sensor picks it up, and flies over it. It does catch a little bit of it with the prop, but nothing major. There it avoids it from the front, and here's another side avoidance. Boom. Great job. Here's another angle on that. Yes, that is a tiki torch. Like I said, a creature of opportunity. I use what's around me. Lining it up. And flies upward. And the whole time you can hear the obstacle void screaming at me, telling me there's something close. And it's showing it on my screen. Sorry I couldn't show that to you because the sun was out pretty good. And there was a pretty good reflection on the when I tried to film the screen. So, But it was showing me the, uh, the orange arrows or the, or the orange lines on the remote saying, hey, there's something on this side of the drone, plus giving me the audio, the tone saying there was an obstacle, and the drone itself was trying to avoid it. And you can see here, I'm actually pushing on the stick. Holding it, pushing it, trying to make it do whatever I can. And here's a forward version of that. Now, in some instances, if it did, if I did try to hold it too long, it did get aggravated and uh, find a way around. This is the really cool part. I took something and put it over top of the drone, like this, and then try to fly upward. And watch how the drone avoids it. Now, that's cool. And yes, I did jump because I've had those props go into my hand before and it don't feel good. Okay, so here's four things I would take into consideration. Flying fast. Remember, you got to give the drone time to think. Flying backwards. Evening or night flying because when the light starts to fail, so does the obstacle avoidance. And really small branches or really small obstacles that the sensors may have a hard time picking up. Other than that, the obstacle avoidance on this drone is awesome. And I think it did a really, really good job with it. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for sticking around and watching. Hope to see you next time.